Welcome to the Wraith Tavern. History on tap. Enjoy the video. Warwick Castle, a majestic medieval fortress, sits on a bend of the River Avon in Warwickshire, England. Founded in 914 AD, the castle boasts a rich history spanning over a millennium. Today, it stands as one of Britain's most popular tourist attractions, captivating visitors with its impressive architecture and immersive historical experiences. The castle's strategic location on a sandstone bluff provided its inhabitants with a commanding view of the surrounding countryside. Over the centuries, Warwick Castle has played a pivotal role in English history, witnessing power struggles, sieges and shifting allegiances. From its humble beginnings as a wooden fortification to its transformation into a formidable stone castle, Warwick has undergone numerous architectural changes. Its well-preserved walls, towers and ramparts whisper tales of a bygone era, transporting visitors back to a time of knights, nobles and medieval grandeur. Warwick Castle's origins can be traced back to the tumultuous years following the Viking invasions that ravaged England. In 914 AD, Ethelfleda, daughter of Alfred the Great, ordered the construction of a burr at Warwick. This early fortification, built primarily of timber and earth, served as a strategic stronghold against Danish incursions. The choice of Warwick as the site for this defensive structure was no accident. Its location on a naturally defensible hilltop, overlooking a bend in the River Avon, gave it a tactical advantage over potential attackers. This early fortress played a vital role in securing the region and establishing Warwick as a place of strategic importance. Following the Norman conquest of England in 1066, Warwick Castle underwent a dramatic transformation. William the Conqueror granted it to Henry de Beaumont, who became the first Earl of Warwick. In 1068, Henry embarked on an ambitious project to rebuild the castle in stone, replacing the existing wooden fortifications. The construction of the stone castle took several decades, with each successive Earl adding their own embellishments. The imposing stone keep known as Caesar's Tower became a symbol of Norman dominance and a deterrent to potential aggressors. Throughout the tumultuous medieval period, Warwick Castle found itself at the heart of numerous power struggles and conflicts. Its strategic location and the influence of the Earls of Warwick ensured its involvement in key historical events. During the Anarchy in the 12th century, the castle was besieged and captured by forces loyal to Empress Matilda. In the 15th century, during the Wars of the Roses, Richard Neville, known as Warwick the Kingmaker, used the castle as a base of operations. His cunning and ambition earned him a reputation as one of the most powerful figures of his time. The castle's strategic value did not diminish with the passing of the medieval era. During the English Civil War in the 17th century, it was garrisoned by parliamentary forces and withstood a siege by royalist troops. This event highlighted the castle's enduring defensive capabilities, even as warfare tactics and weaponry evolved. The rise of the Earls of Warwick is a fascinating chapter in the castle's history. The title of Earl of Warwick was first created in the 11th century, and over the centuries it became associated with immense power and influence. The Beauchamp family, who held the title for several generations, played a significant role in the castle's development. Under their stewardship, Warwick Castle was transformed from a military fortress into a grand residence. The Beauchamps were succeeded by the Dudleys, another influential family, who continued to enhance the castle's prestige. The most famous of the Dudley Earls was Robert Dudley, a favorite of Queen Elizabeth the at Warwick Castle, under his ownership, became a center of culture and sophistication, attracting artists, musicians and scholars. Warwick Castle's transformation into a stately home began in the 17th century. The Greville family, who acquired the castle in 1671, played a crucial role in this transformation. They undertook extensive renovations, adding luxurious interiors and beautiful gardens. By the 19th century, Warwick Castle had become one of the most celebrated stately homes in England. In the 20th century, Warwick Castle was open to the public, allowing people to explore its rich history and stunning architecture. Today, it is recognized as a national treasure, offering a unique glimpse into England's past. And now, as we come to the end of our journey, we see how Warwick Castle has evolved from a medieval fortress to a beloved historical landmark. 
Its walls have witnessed centuries of history, from bloody battles to grand celebrations. Today, Warwick Castle stands as a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of those who built and maintained it. Whether you are exploring its towers and dungeons, marvelling at its art and architecture, or simply enjoying the beautiful grounds, Warwick Castle offers something for everyone. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the ages, and we hope you leave with a deeper appreciation for the remarkable story of Warwick Castle. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.